Hello Python programmers. So this is the example first of our Python beginner example series in which we are going to create a Python program which will tell the user whether a string or a word is palindrome or not. First of all, let me explain you what is a palindrome. Palindrome is that word which whether taken from any end remains the same now let now let me explain you with an example let's say the word is madame or madame or whatever you say this if you take it from the starting it's m a d a m if you take it from the back also it's m a d a m so it doesn't matter from which side you take uh, you start writing this word the word remains the same so this is what a palindrome is and in this video i'm gonna give you the solution of how to create a python program which will detect whether a word is palindrome or not first of all we'll create a variable let's say s which will take the input from the user uh, let's say enter the word and then we'll write that one magical python command which will first reverse the python string now this is the command for that now if you know python basics then you must have heard about indexing and slicing now let me explain you a bit here so let's get into a python shell and let's say i have a string uh, let's say harshit my name only and if i want to select from the first index or from h to let's say h so it's like first second third fourth and fifth index but as we know that the indentation in python starts from zero so this will be from zero to five if we press enter we can see that it's harsh so this is how the slicing or indexing in python works okay so let me explain you in a bit more detail so in the first place so there are three possible parameters that you can provide inside this for your slicing the first is the starting range let's say that i want to go from a r s h i t so i will simply write one here and then zero and then nothing here so this will start from a and goes to t let's say that i want to go from a to h it it will be more understandable if i show you the live example let's say that i want to go from a to let's say h so i'll write five here there you can see arsh so this is how the slicing of indentation is uh, sorry slicing of list is done now what is the last parameter of this string this the last parameter of the string defines the difference between the two uh, let's say characters of that string let's say that i want to skip one element after each element like i want r after h i want to skip a here then i want to skip s then i want to skip i it's like i have to skip one element after each element so what i will do here is i will simply write one here uh, actually two here because one is the default value so there you can see h r h t okay now let's say that 
I want to go up to three values. Now this is not a long enough string, so let's create a long string, something like this, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, so let's see that if I want to go up to three string, so there you can see it has skipped every third element of the string. So this is what the three parameters of the string slicing denotes. So let's get back to our program. So here we are reversing the string. Now I haven't shown you the example of reversing, right? <laughs> so let's say that A is equal to Harshit again. And I want to reverse it. So what I will do here is no parameters here because we want the starting to be at the start and no parameters here also because we want the full string to be reversed and then minus one if you want to go from the starting to the end you write the positive numbers and if you want to go back from the reverse uh, pattern then you write negative digits it works on all three parameters okay so if i reverse this reverse this there you can see that my name is reversed okay so let's get back to our program and let's write the if else condition to check whether the reversed string is equal to our normal string or our string which the user has provided is same or not so if a is equal to equal to s uh, then we'll simply print it here that okay it is a palindrome and else we will print that it is not a palindrome so there we go let's run this uh, program and let's enter a word let's say hello we know that this is not a palindrome so it's not a palindrome let's say and let's enter a palindrome word let's say malayalam this is not the spelling <laughs> malayalam uh, this is not also a palindrome what was the spelling of malayalam <laughs> now let me search some palindrome words here so i was i have already searched so let's search about kayak it's k a y a k i am really bad at spellings k a y a k let's enter and okay it is a palindrome so this was a very short video but i guess the beginners will like this because uh, as a beginner you have to work on these very small or you can say micro projects to boost up your skills so that you can apply these concepts on some bigger program so this is it for this video and i'll meet you in the next lecture where we'll create something very informative and good for our beginners so meet you there bye bye